We have talked about it enough. Okay, um, we'll just, people that have announcements or proposals can get on the speakers list, yeah. and we'll make no, room for everybody. Do we have a chance to speak about the speakers list? Because I am still going to have a speakers list. Okay, I'm sorry. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mike check. We have to bring this to order. We have, we have to bring this to order. to order. Thank you for your comments. Thank, Thank you for your comments. comments. We should take the next speaker. I was going to announce something very important. We was going to announce something very important. I have a message from the Ottawa Hongway people from Bradford. A message from the Ottawa Hongway people from Bradford. Notice the Ottawa Hongway people. I was inviting their enablement to help them uncover the remains of the children who died in the local residential school. I have with me something that no one has yet seen. The bones of children unearthed at the residential school last week. The bones of children unearthed at the residential school last week. These have been verified by an archaeologist coming from young children. These have been verified by an archaeologist coming from young children. This child was probably four years old. This child was probably four years old. This bone was cut through. The bodies were chopped up. This bone was cut through. The bodies were chopped up. This happened at a residential school run by the Anglican Church. This happened at a residential school run by the Anglican Church. Over 50,000 children never came back. Over 50,000 children never came back. These are the disappeared of Canada. These are the disappeared of Canada. We need your help in uncovering their remains. We need your help in uncovering their remains. So that the murder of our indigenous people does not continue. So that the murder of our indigenous people does not continue. And that we can be held accountable for our own crimes. And that we can be held accountable for our own crimes. I hope you'll come down with my friend Perry Lester. I hope you'll come down with my friend Perry Lester. And support our attempt to bring out the children for a proper burial. And support our attempt to bring out the children for a proper burial. Our website is itccs.org. Our website is itccs.org. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Point of information? Investigation. One ox. Maybe Kevin was nervous when he came up and spoke. He said, our indigenous people. We are not our indigenous people. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So when Kevin said, our indigenous people. When Kevin said, our indigenous people. He really meant the indigenous people. He really meant the indigenous people. No possession. No possession. And point of order, maybe, I don't know what you call it, clarification on uh, the land that we are on right now. Point of clarification on the land that we are on right now. This is land that was shared by many nations. This was land that was shared by many nations. This is not just Mississauga land. This is not just Mississauga land. This is not their traditional land. This is not their traditional land. They just happen to be here. They just happen to be here. When the money was falling from the white hands. When the money was falling from the white hands. Thank you, Nyawe. Thank you, Nyawe. Occupy. Church offices. Yep. I'm Kevin Annett, uh, Eagle Strong Voice, Raunut Sani, according to the Mohawk uh, language, that's the name they gave me in the uh, Mohawk area of Brantford. And uh, I'm here at Occupy Toronto where I just gave an announcement of our work. I'm bringing home the children at the Mushhole, the Brantford Residential School. I have bones from the residential school. This was a bone cut in half, the bone of a child, which was also the bone of a young child. We unearthed this as part of our reclamation of the remains of these children. And we're going to not only give them a proper burial, but put the Anglican Church on trial. The same Anglican Church that evicted these people from uh, their grounds at St. James Park. And we want people to unite in occupying the Anglican Church offices to force out of them the documents showing how these children died. Their bodies were chopped up and buried in secret by the Anglican Church. And we need justice. They should not be allowed to get away with these crimes and then pose as humanitarian organizations that get paid Amanda. money by the Canadian government and, and don't have to pay taxes when they've committed these horrible crimes. So we need people to rally around us to occupy the churches, get in out of the cold, go into your local Anglican church and don't budge until they release these documents. They surrender their own officers to stand trial for crimes against humanity and genocide.
really? Yeah, and have those uh, fragments been uh, tested, or how, how do you know? This has already been examined by archaeologists since she's 100% sure it's of a young child, the uh, ball uh, and socket of a knee. And uh, the others are in the process of being forensically examined. We're going to know within a few weeks the cause of death, the age, the sex. So they can't hide anymore, you know. They've been hiding behind lawyers and lies for a long time. This is the truth now. These are the disappeared of Canada. And we're going to bring them home and put the people responsible on trial. For real, yeah. And what are your thoughts on the Occupy? I love it. And I think it's what do we have to do. We've got to reclaim the whole world. Uh, I don't think we should use the word Occupy because it's a colonial term. Uh, Europeans brought here, we have to, uh, you know, we use a word like the Mohawks do, like reclamation. Taking back the land that was taken from us. This whole earth was taken from the people by a small oligarchy, and it includes the church oligarchy. The church and the government here, they were part of the family compact. We tried to overthrow them in 1837, and we failed. We've got to do it once and for all this time for justice for these children. For real, yeah, and that was the original location of the Occupy uh, Toronto was actually the Church of the Family Compact. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that, the St. James? Uh... Well, everything uh, doesn't seem to change. I mean, like, that same elite are the ones who, uh, you know, the Anglican Church officials said, oh, you can stay here as long as the police don't mind. The minute the police minded, they, they comply with the Crown because they are the Crown. They're the Church of England. The ones who plant and murder these children also have contempt for the homeless here and the other people who are just trying to get a piece of the pie and survive. So I think it's uh, nothing's changed since 1837. Any words on uh, City Hall? Well, uh, I think they should get off uh, the land of the indigenous people here or turn it over to all the homeless people who sleep out here. It belongs to them just as much as the rich, probably more than the rich. Let's feed the homeless! Any notion of democracy on this continent came from the indigenous people. The Europeans didn't have any notion of, of consensus. It was all monarchs telling people what their rights are. Uh, our common law traditions were wiped out just like a lot of the native ones were. We've got to recover that just like they do. So we have a natural alliance there, but not working through these government-funded Indians who are just as removed from their own people as the, the wealthy are from people who are sleeping on the street. Uh, we need to make those alliances kind of on the ground, but we have to show as non-native people that we're serious about this. We've got to say we demand return of these children who are buried, and if these churches aren't going to respond, then they should get off the land and uh, turn the buildings over to, to the people who need it. Go to our website, itccs.org, and uh, come down to Brantford to the Mushroom and help us there. I felt the longhouse fire burning. This is the first one. This is the first one. It's the buildings from the 1920s, but uh, the original site right here is 1830-something. Help me, please.